Hi guys and happy Saturday. Thank you for joining me live. Uh, this is the part two I promised you later on in the week. I do apologize. I hit a little speed bump yesterday after my tattoo, um, but I just wanted to stop in and show you guys how I use my own Tupperware in my kitchen. Give you a little sneak peek. I did finish filling the freezer, but I figured I would come on here live and show you um, how I'm using my fridge smarts and my fridge stackables before I give you a peek in there. Um, so if you do join, make sure you give me a shout out down below in the comments. That way I can give you a shout out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, again, I'm going to be showing you guys how I use my own Tupperware in my own kitchen. I already did the freezer stuff. We're going to be doing the fridge stuff while we chit chat. Um, and then I'll give you a peek into my freezer. Um, again, I'm just starting out. So my collection is nowhere near the size of my general manager. Um, I mean, executive manager, Rebecca, but I'm obsessed. <clears throat> So the first product I'm going to be using, it's our Fridge Smart containers. Um, and I might be using, oh, is that going to fit? It might. Peppers are going to be tough. Uh, peppers and apples. Uh, this is a small, medium. I'm going to see if it fits, and it does not. I don't want to crush it. Right. So I'm actually going to end up using two. And that's okay. And then right on the front is all the settings for your produce, guys. So these are peppers. So they're going to be half open. Um, so this is going to be half open. This is going to be fully closed. And this is going to be all the way open. And then on this far right here are the things that we don't use them for, we don't recommend them for. And then you've got herbs and some more fruits down here. Um, if you have a produce that you don't see on here, let me know. I have charts with more detailed images, more um, product availability. Um, so these are going to be half open. Right. So you go front to back, side to side, whatever works for you. You're going to want to end on this part right here where there's a lip. Give it a little burp. And then you want to make sure that it's half open, which is all the way to the right. All right, so that's my peppers. Get them in there, and then we will move on to my grapes. If I can find them, they disappeared. Oh, I think my husband tried to be helpful. Give me one second, guys. Yes, he did. God bless him. He tried to be helpful. Um, so grapes are going to be fully closed. Um, again, we always recommend that with our fridge smarts, you guys are putting your produce in there um, dirty and dry. Um, and then wash them before you use them. That's going to keep them the best. Um, if you do choose to wash your produce first, just make sure it's really dry before you put it in here. That way you don't have excessive moisture. It's not going to lead to quicker um, decomposition. Ooh. I'm just trying to flatten them out because you know how bunches of grapes go. This is a medium shallow and I just fit an entire, um, what is this, three pound bag? Something like that. This entire bag just fit into this tiny skinny little container and again this is going to be fully closed which it already is thank goodness so once I close it and burp it we're good to go okay all right and then the beauty of these is that they stack right on top of each other and then this will stack right on top of them so my fridge will be one cohesive unit and like I've told you guys before, I love to use my fridge stackable sets for my husband's lunch meats. He's a big lunch meat fan, but um, he's not exactly the quickest eater of them. Um, so I tend to throw out more than he eats, which drives me crazy. Um, but since I started using this, I have not had to throw any lunch meats out. These really are a game changer in my kitchen. As are the fridge smarts. I'm so happy that I'm not wasting the food that I used to waste. Because it was bad. It was really bad. If you guys ball on a budget like I do, um, these containers really are game changers. Because you, you, not only can you eat healthier, um, but the food's going to last so much longer. Um, and you're not going to waste your money. You're actually going to have a chance to use it. All right. So like I've told you guys in the past, I like to put his lunch meats in the one with the tray on the bottom. Um, just because I'm not a big fan of things sitting in their own moisture. All right. And then in the top two, I'm going to use the shreddy cheeses. 
because he told me he did not want sliced cheese this week. So I'm going to do the mozzarella in one and I'm going to do a cheddar in the other. All right. And again, just slide them together like so. Give them a really gentle press. You do not have to put Herculean effort in. Um, hi, Kristen. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, make sure you guys leave a comment down below if you join while I'm chit-chatting. That way I can give you a shout out. And if you're watching later, make sure you uh, comment down below, hashtag replay. That way I can give you a shout out. And thank you guys for taking your time out of your um, Saturday to come join me. While I use my own Tupperware. I really do use my products and I just want you guys to know that. I don't want you to think that I'm full of hot air and malarkey. Um, when you hear me talk about it, I really do use my products. I've got so many other sets on their way. Um, I can't wait till I get them all um, because it really has been a game changer in my kitchen. All right. So that's the fridge stackables full. Again, we've got our ham and turkey in the bottom. I've got my mozzarella in the middle and then my shredded cheddar in the top. And again, this does only come with the one lid. Why? Because these are liquid and airtight seals when stacked together. Now, I set it on top of this stack and this is everything. My grapes, my peppers, my lunch meats, my cheeses, and it's gonna go in one smooth line in my fridge. Let me pop that in there and then we'll take a peek of how it looks. <clears throat> And thank you guys for joining. If you are joining while I'm in the fridge, make sure you comment down below. That way I can give you a shout out, okay? All right. Da, 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 da. No. Let me show you my fridge. So that is what they look like all stacked. Um, normally I would have a drawer full and then like two shelves full all separated. Um, and instead I've got it all in one corner of one shelf. I also have some shredded cheese in my fresh and cools. Um, if you did not grab those last month, um, definitely keep an eye out for when they come back. Um, if you're interested in them, let me know and I will let you know when they do come back because these are great. Um, that's actually what I'm going to be using for the rest of my products. But here's my freezer. Um, like I said, I'm still waiting for the rest of my freezer mates. So unfortunately I still have some bagged products, but I've got my frozen veggies up here. I've got a roast in this bottom one. I've got some pork loins here. I've got some pork loins here. And then in the back, we've got our minis with my portioned out pieces of ground beef. And that is what it looks like in our fresh and pure ice cube trays. Obviously, when I get my deep freezer, it's gonna be a real game changer, especially when I have the rest of my freezer mates. Um, really, honestly, one of my favorite products is the freezer mates and the fridge smarts. Um, they just make stacking and storing and food waste um, a non-existent problem. Um, and I can't wait to get my deep freezer so I can keep going. Did anybody have any questions? Um, I know I was kind of talking pretty fast. Um, I'm just grabbing my fresh and cools for the rest of the cheese. Because I do have some more cheese to put away. I don't want you though. I forgot where I put them. Oh, it must be Saturday. Okay. All right. So again, I've been showing off my fridge smarts, my um, freezer mates, and my fridge, fridge and freezer stackables. All great items to fall on a budget with. All great items to use um, for your half off if you host a party. Um, and I am still doing that booking blitz. If you book a party with me before the end of the month um, and your party 
hits 200 plus in sales, I will get you a $50 piece of Tupperware for free. So keep that in mind, guys. And then next week on Tupperware Tuesday, the regular live, um, I will be demoing the stack cooker um, and probably a few other products. I'm going to be doing a meatloaf dinner, meatloaf, potatoes, and veggies. <clears throat> Something a little different than what Rebecca's done in the past. And here is the rest of my cheese. I'll put away in my fresh and cool set. Um, and that is it for that. Um, I showed you guys the modular mates last time. Um, but they are still very much in use. And have opened up my pantry for me to finally stack it with everything else that I just brought home. But let me show you guys what we just put into all of those containers and took up a fraction of the space. So this is all, plus my meat containers, obviously, those three separate things of chicken and ground beef and the pork, they're all in there too. And then all of this in that one section of my freezer, one section of my fridge, right like so. And again, these fresh and cools, they stack beautifully right on top of each other. So I'm not taking up any more room than I already was. Um, if you guys have any questions about the products that I showed off today, um, please let me know. Uh, the refrigerator cups do the same thing. They are a liquid airtight seal. Um, so when they're not available, the fresh and cools, um, it would make a good substitute. Um, great, great product um, all the way around. Um, also, our freezer mates would probably do just as good justice um, they do have a liquid and airtight seal as well. Um, as to our clearly elegant bowls, any of our bowls are good for that too. Um, if you don't have the fresh and cools, um, yeah. And I will, if you're interested in the fresh and cools, let me know because I will, um, keep an eye out for them and I will personally message you when they come back. Um, they were a special couple months back in August. Um, and they were amazing. They are my favorite product. But thank you guys so much for taking your time out of your Saturday to join me. I just wanted to show you guys all of that. Um, and as I upgrade and add more, I will be showing it off. Um, and again, next Tuesday, we're going to be doing um, the Stack Cooker Live. Um, one of my favorite products for cooking a big dinner for the family in less than an hour, all in the microwave. In one dish. One dish will make the entire dinner for me and my husband for at least two days. Um, so I can't wait to show you guys that. Make sure you tune in next Tuesday. And thank you if you joined today. Um, if you have any questions and you're watching this later, make sure you shoot a comment down below with the hashtag replay. Um, and I will answer you as soon as I get it. Um, thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed um, learning a little bit more about the products that I do use. I really do. Um, and the more that I use them, the more that I'll share photos with you. Um, but it used to be chaos in my fridge and I'll have to see if I have old pictures. Um, because if you could just understand how bad it was and how nice it is now, um, you'd probably be as in love with them as I am. But thank you guys so, so much for joining me. My name's Abigail Wallers. I'm your independent Tupperware consultant. I hope you guys have a good rest of your Friday. Bye guys.